that's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight's story is a comedy with Andy Griffith as your host. Here's a preview. Harry. Of course. Greg. Greg, oh, buddy. Harry. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> well, you know, you know. Uh, no, come later. Come on, come on. Two, Two four, four, six, eight. eight. Who do we appreciate? Moose Bay. Moose Bay. Ra, ra, ra. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. This is Andy Griffith. Remember the old saying, into each life a little rain must fall? That's just what's going to happen to Greg and Lois Edwards. Instead of a peaceful summer alone, they're going to be inundated by, that's right, house guests. I never thought they would find us in California. Harry called the office. He told them he was Fred Astaire. Miss Graham, she put him right through. Fire her. Well, what about the change of address cards? I'm sure you sent them one. Well? I don't remember. Oh, really? These people are pursuing us every time we move. They're here. First Denver, now Santa Monica. Can't you arrange for an unlisted transfer? They're old friends. Your friends. Well, it, it, it's not that bad. Remember three years ago? A mistake. Mistake? How would you like to be arrested? You weren't. You were held in custody. Same difference. They thought I was Thelma's accomplice. Ah, come on. Grabbed by detectives. Searched. So she walked out of Macy's with a toaster. She forgot. They didn't. Oh, and you were a great help. Well, didn't I spring you? In between screams of laughter. <laughs> it was a riot. Ha, ha. Oh, oh, and another thing. I'm not going anywhere with her if she wears high heels and athletic socks. Good. Stay in the house. And we are not going to any nightclubs where Harry sings along with the band. Oh, boy. <laughs> Remember? Remember when he got up and sang, Lady of Spain? I wanted to die. All right, we'll barbecue and watch TV. Well, at least it's safe. Oh, my, this certainly isn't the way to begin a quiet summer, although it is the way we begin our story. Sears Radio Theater. A new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Guess Who's Coming to California by Ken Gerard. Our stars, Carol Cook and Shepard Mencken. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. Just what Greg and Lois Edwards don't need right now. But can Harry and Thelma Newman be that bad? Seems impossible, doesn't it? I think this was very inconsiderate of you. What? I said... Why don't you do this? Why are you fussing? It's only Harry and Thelma. Oh, Fine. Dump some garbage on the carpets. Oh, come on, Lois, enough. We haven't been here six months. I've only gotten rid of the movers' cartons. And, pow, you invite the Newmans. I didn't. They invited themselves. It's tradition. You want to hurt their feelings? I plead the Fifth Amendment on that one. Oh, be kind. I thought we'd have this summer alone. The kids at camp, your charming mother in Europe. But, no. We're faced with a week of crude jokes, maybe a serious incident with the police, and lots of nervous tension. Oh, what's a week? With Harry, it's an eternity. Oh, and a word about Michael. Well, I'm glad he's in camp. Safe and sound for once. Oh, that was something. I yes. Did. He marched into the kitchen, 
not a tear, and said, Mom, my shoulder feels funny. Look, don't remind me, will you? What a perceptive child. It was only dislocated. Just from arm wrestling with Harry. It was an accident. Oh, it is always an accident. But they're back. What's this year? Fire? Flood? Famine? Look, I, I, I got the point. Please cool it. I have no choice. If we're lucky, they'll bring their parents. And why not? They still need them. It'll be different this time. Always is. Well, let me get the lunch ready. Here, put the vacuum away. Well, I will make the best of it. Smiling on the outside and furious on the inside. It's the California curse. Everybody wants to visit. But they'll have a rented car. We'll map out daily side trips. You'll never see them. Ha! Wishful thinking. He'll never budge unless we take our car. Why? The mileage charge. For 11 cents a mile, you got them. You drive him. Look, Harry's a character. You know he overcompensates. It's the insecurity syndrome. Ah, <gasps> That explains why he chews with his mouth open. Oh, he doesn't. Don't tell me. I always sit opposite him. He's been misunderstood since he was a kid. You know, his father told me he was a big mistake. Harry almost got killed at summer camp. In a battle of wits? Oh, smart. Very smart. Smart, smart. The canoe overturned and I, I was I know. There. I heard it enough. I feel I was there. Give me that platter. Uh, no, the bigger one. Hmm. Making his favorite? Of course. It's another tradition. Pastrami on date nut bread. No, film is not that bad. No. Relative to what? So she's not the most attractive woman in the world. In the galaxy. No, I've seen worse. A little makeup, some new clothes. So could pass. As what? A very ugly man? Look, Harry loves her. Yes, a match made in heaven. <laughs> no, I can't believe it could happen that way. Why don't you fix her up while she's here? Take her to a beauty parlor or, or, or a cosmetician. Dear, we just moved into this area. I don't want people talking and pointing. That's unkind. Remember the incident with the hairstylist? <laughs> of course. <laughs> the shampoo girl almost OD'd on Thelma's dandruff. <laughs> well, maybe she's improved. <laughs> well, Thelma's basically a fine woman. She has to be married to Harry. She idolizes you. Don't be patronizing. She's got many good qualities. I hope she brings them with her. Well, we'll survive. However, I won't vouch for the furniture. Oh, it'll be fun. Oh, laugh right, as they say. How you two became such buddies is beyond me. Greg, what is the magic? Or is he blackmailing you? No, well, he's different. Uh -huh. A mild understatement. Everybody in prep school liked Harry and wanted to be his friend. Smart. They got it out of the way early. <laughs> They're here. All too soon. Remember what I said? Into each life a little rain must fall. Well, get a slicker and gouaches because here comes the rain. Get it. No, you get it. Oh, no. They're your friends. Hey, hey, I know you're in there. Open up. After you. I choose you. Three takes it. Child. Hey, hey, hey. Harry. Of course. Greg, Greg, old buddy. Harry. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> well, you know, you know. Uh, no, come lady. Come on, come on. Two, Two four, four, six, eight. eight. Who, Who do we appreciate? Moose Bay, Moose Bay. Rah, rah, rah. Oh, you haven't lost your touch, boy. Hey, like old times. Oh, uh, you look sensational. Uh, Bermuda shorts, <laughs> the whole bit. <laughs> oh, and listen, I just love the yellow knee socks. Great with dress shoes. See? She knows. 
Where's Thelma? Unloading the car. Uh, let, let me give a hand. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do nothing. Thelma's gone feminist. And then I'll do it. No way. Hey, Thelma, get your fanny in here. She loves it when I get macho. <laughs> Next time you do this fat face. Oh, Louie. Thelma. Oh, Greg. Thelma. Well, welcome to California. Oh, thanks. A pleasure. Louie, you look terrific. Some shape, huh, hair? It's a pleasure to look at somebody without curlers. Why don't you get the trunk out of the car? Come on, Greg. It's, it's like lead. <laughs> trunk? How was your flight? Fabulous. I only threw up once right over the Grand Canyon. Oh, well, then, would you like to freshen up? Later. I want to see your pool. We don't have one. Oh, yeah? Oh. Greg not doing well, huh? No. A house for the pool was just too expensive. Huh? Sure. Well, you don't have to pretend. I know. Here. Here. Okay, now, here, you put your end down first, huh? Oh, holy. What's in there? Yeah, you know, Thelma, I'll let enough clothes for a month. Swell. Yeah, they ain't got a pool. You don't swim anyway. Yeah, but I wanted to take a plunge. So I'll fill up the shower. <laughs> uh, 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 well, why don't you unpack and, and, and then, then we'll take a drive, huh? Oh, no, let's chow down. No, he's thinking of his gut. Why not? Oh, sure. <laughs> Why don't let's put on the old feed bag? Come on, Thelma, the grub's in the kitchen. Lois. Greg. Harry. <laughs> you look wonderful. Well, I work out. Exercise, that's a secret. I ain't gonna have the big one. <laughs> right. I jog a mile a month. All uh, right, oh. Uh, listen, I, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to say nothing in front of the girls, but how you doing, Greg, huh? I'm in a house in Santa Monica without a pool. I don't know. It, 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 time's tough? No, everything's fine. The new company's great. Hey, hey, you don't have to put on airs with me. Now, Harry, we're doing fine. All right, just in case. If you need it, I got a deal. To... Look, tell you later. A gold mine. What are you telling him, Harry? About them adult books, huh? Bought $10 worth of trash at the airport. No, I wasn't. Lunch, anybody? Oh, of course. Harry, your favorite pastrami on date nut. Ah, uh, you never forget. Oh, and the Thelma special. Tuna and peanut butter on an onion roll. Oh, thanks. And Greg and I will have tuna plain. Coffee, Harry? Oh, yeah, and uh, double sugar. Take a diet substitute. I always tell you that. It's healthier. And get artificial diabetes? <laughs> it's your funeral. You wish. <laughs> well... How do you like California? Oh, fabulous. You can see what you're breathing. And all the slim women. Looking already, huh? Hey, now, just because I'm on a diet don't mean I can't read the menu. Oh. Huh, Greg? Huh? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and uh, who's taking care of the children? The thing. Who? Mrs. She. It. Her. Y you know, Rose. Oh, <laughs> Harry's mother. Mm, who else? Hey, now, be nice. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here. And neither would you. How is little Thelma? Oh, a living doll. We almost brung her for a screen test, of course. Sings, tells jokes. Oh, you wouldn't believe. I, I brought a tape. We'll listen later. She's terrific. Wonderful. Uh, and, and little Harry? Just like me. I hope not. I'll let that one pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, super kid. Plays every sport, smart as a whip. See, he's not like the big one. Watch your mouth. And your boys? Oh, summer camp. They'll be back next month. Camp. Camp, like the old days. I remember the two of us, the <laughs> camping kids. Oh, that's my cue. <laughs> I've heard this before. Listen, Lowie, you mind if I use your washing machine? You, you got one, don't you? Oh, yes. And it's brand new. Did you spill something in the car? No, it's the dirty laundry I brought from home. I didn't finish. Fat Face said we'd be late for the plane. Oh, well, let me show you where. Uh, excuse, fellas. Yeah, and get the grease off my undershirt this time. Can they hear us? Uh, uh, no, no. Okay, okay. Here it is. A new deal, Greg. This time, you will be making money in barrels. <laughs> Here we 
go again. I wonder what Harry's got up his sleeve this time. Another surefire investment. Well, let's hear it. No, we uh, uh, we can't invest right now. Now, don't uh, say anything until I finish. No, okay? I, I, I listen, you know, but that's it. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I am revolutionizing advertising. How? Bumper stickers, the hottest marketing gimmick since skywriting. You're not serious. You bet. The potential is unlimited. It's a money machine. No, I, I'll pass on you this. You crazy? One. It's like stealing. I, I don't have any capital. The house cost us a fortune. And... Oh, take a second mortgage. Lois would never agree if I. Went... What, Lois? This is a shoe in. I'm doing everything: the writing, the printing, the selling. You can advertise anything. You got any customers? Plenty. The Trenton Mortuary was my first. They hand these out at funerals? No, no, no. They stick them on the cars during the service. It's incredible. Who well, went else? What are you doing, Harry? Telling some preverted joke. No. I just offered Greg in. Into what? A million bucks. Greg, have you... No, 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 no. Harry made us an offer that I can quickly refuse. Uh, besides, you, you know that we don't have any money right now for investments... I... Yes. Now, what is the latest adventure? I mean, venture. Vehicular advertising. What? Bumper stickers. I write them, Harry sells them. Teamwork. Sure. <laughs> My first was We Dig You, Trenton Mortuary. Like it? Catchy, huh? Oh, terrific. Well, now, you've got to come in with us. Only cost you five thousand. Double your money in a year. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. We can't. Okay, I... okay, okay, okay. You just missed the new IBM. Oh, listen, I hope you make a bundle. Oh, I will. I got the smarts. Mm, I heard that before. Listen, listen, we got a plan what to do. I ain't sitting in the house this vacation. Hey, 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 hey. How about Disneyland? Oh, no, no, no. So the one in Florida. The rides stink. Oh, well, how about a tour of some movie studios? Oh, no, they had it on a TV special. Besides, you got to walk. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. The farmer's market. Oh, hundreds of wonderful food shops. Oh, Harry. Harry, it is you. How much walking? Oh, almost none. And it's never crowded. Oh, well, put it on the maybe list. Okay. But there is something I want to do. Oh? Tour the graves of the stars. You what? Sure. It is it cemetery? I want to see where everybody's gone. Uh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go tonight. It's very romantic. Oh, could we, Hair? Could we? Why not? The sky's the limit this trip. Oh, Hair. Only if we do something I've been thinking about, too. Uh, that is? Buy land in California. Oh, no. No, oh, look at this. I clipped it from the paper. Be part of the Golden West. Own a piece of California. Rancho San Leon. Uh, it's pronounced San Leone. I ain't written that way. San Leon. Well, let me finish. Rancho San Leon offers you 10 acre home sites in a plush setting. Visit the clubhouse with its Olympic sized pool. Gaze at the majestic mountains and painted desert from your spacious motel room. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. San Leone's on the coast. But San Leon is in the desert. It's where? Who knows? Who cares? Here's the best part five days and three nights free. Oh, you get it? We can all go for nothing. Mm, sounds flaky. You're too suspicious. This is a deal. Right, right. When are you leaving? If Lowy goes, I go. Otherwise, nothing. Oh, well, we, we can't afford it. <laughs> but it's sur la conf, as they say. You can't lose. Just say you're looking. But too much interest and they'll jack up the prices. Oh? Yeah. You go first. Do the hard negotiating. Then advise us, huh? You got it. Leave Tuesday. Monday, take Thelma to the graves. Oh, Hare, our own ranch. Like Tara. Better. We'll have air conditioning. Watch where 
where you're going, you creep. Now, you too, buddy. California drivers, they all stink. Well, you gotta be crazy to live here. The freeways are murder. Uh, take the next off ramp. Hey, Thumb, we've been going since this morning. Enough already, huh? I seen too many headstones. Let's go back to the house. Uh, last one. It's special. Babe, it's getting dark. Come on. We're almost there. Okay, okay, but but first I feed my face. Hey, look. Don Armando's Mexican Buffet. How about that, huh? Oh, why not? You've been such a good sport. Thank you. All you can eat for a dollar nineteen. How good can it be? Listen, we ain't coming back for dinner. Oh, no, everything's A1. <laughs> she went bananas, like a dream come true. We saw everybody. Uh, no, we're going to eat Mexican tonight. <laughs> I don't know where we are. Oh, sure, your car's fine. Hey, thanks a million, huh? Oh, and, and don't wait up. Uh, we might go to a drive-in afterwards. <laughs> Almost midnight. Call the police. I know something's happened to them. Oh, don't be a nervous mother. He said they may go to a movie. They shouldn't be out this late. Well, they're not children. Really? Why are you so uptight? Because it's like sitting through the 15th rerun of a terrible movie. It's like being the cruise director on the Titanic. Stop. If I relive another homecoming game against Polly... Are your experiences at the senior prom with Pimples McGuire or the highlight of each miserable visit, the retelling of Harry and the Canoe, I might have grounds for divorce. Where is it? Where... The old camp yearbook, the musalog, or your prep school yearbook? Either. In the library, next to the telephone. You're a good woman. Mm, too good for you. I remember my father saying that. It never turns out that badly. Really? And a word about money. Okay, I, I won't invest with him. I hope not. How much was the last debacle? A thousand? Three thousand? It was a loan. Money tossed right out of the window. I could have made a fortune. <laughs> On a discount hospital? The concept is terrific. It was the AMA that ruined the deal. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, was the operating room to be in the parking lot or in the elevator? Why must you drag up old memories? Not memories. Traumas. All right. No loans, no nightclubs, no discussions about school or camp, okay? Sounds wonderful. Keep it simple. Steak, salad, and a sangria. Got it? Yes. Finally. Why must he pound on the door? Thelma! Help me get her into the bedroom. Oh, <laughs> Hey, what happened? Oh. Thelma's got green belly. She looks terrible. Oh, my stomach's on fire. Okay, Thelma, okay. We're, we're home, we're home. I I'll get her some tea. No, just leave her to me. See you in the morning. Oh, Harry. <laughs> How's Thelma? Super. Pulled through. Good. What an experience. Oh, she's been worse. Got a stomach like a goat. <laughs> Where did you eat? Some Mexican buffet, an all-you-can-eat place. I thought it was sensational. I had nine burritos, two plates of enchiladas. Oh, it was paradise. Uh, for some. Well, I guess the chocolate-covered tacos nailed Thelma. Could be. Well, that was yesterday. This morning, I'm famished. Uh, can you rustle up some French toast? Why not? How about a side of pancakes? No, no. Saw your brother last week. Good. Two women hanging on him like wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Typical. Did he ever patch it up with your dad? Do you mind? No, no. Signing someone else's name to checks ain't my style either. Change the subject, please? Sure. 
How's your mother-in-law? Fine. Greg still call her every Harry. night? Harry. Just checking. Hiya, Harry. <laughs> How's the patient? All firmed up. Tonight we go for Chinese. Oh, swell. Some French toast? No, thanks, dear. Just coffee. Hey. How about that? A three-way tie in the National League. Baseball? You still following that? Oh, sure. It's dead. You want to know the hottest sport, huh? Tennis? Get out. The roller derby. That's action. Chills, spills. Me and Thelma own 2% of the Brunswick Braves. I'm going to cash in another sports tycoon. <laughs> oh, they're a natural for a bumper sticker. Hey, what about skaters do it? That's enough, Craig. What's enough? Hey, babe, you're alive. Sit down. Oh, thanks, Loie. It was almost all over last night. Look, have some tea, Thelma. Or uh, ginger ale. Oh, you gave me enough already, you locust borgia. You tried to kill me. Did I tell you to eat all that food, huh, huh? Don't talk about it. The place was written up. Mm, by the health department. Mm, some thanks for showing you a good time. Go on, poisoner. I thought it was delicious. I guess you uh, can't leave for Rancho's San Leone today, huh? Of course not. Thomas in no condition to travel. Hmm. Well, I was merely thinking out loud. A very poor thought. Listen, why don't you and Harry go alone? Hey, great idea. I, 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 I didn't plan to be away what? to... What? Man, the two of us on the road again, just like the old days. <laughs> we'll leave at sunset in your car. Oh, how romantic. the concluding act of Guess Who's Coming to California. I'd like to have a word with you. Shh, they'll hear us. What was the meaning of that? I love the way you volunteered me a trip into the wild with the Baron of the Bumper Stickers. He's your friend. You invited him. That has nothing to do with it. I'll never forgive you for this. Oh, well, then cancel it. Be a man. Go out there and tell him you just don't want to go. And hurt his feelings? No way. Rancho San Leone. It's got to be a ripoff. Oh, the more reason to go. You can protect the wheeler dealer from himself. Oh, that's impossible. That man is born to be taken. Prevent it. Anyhow, what's five days? With Harry? An eternity. Oh, remember that the next time. Okay, I'll go. But have her packed and ready to leave when we return. All set. You're really gonna leave me? Well, we'll take care of you. How do I know you're not stepping out on me? Because I'm going with Greg. Maybe he's going to fix you up with a starlet. We're going to buy land. No, we're, we're, we're going not to buy land. Harry, don't look at nobody else. Oh, come on. Who's going to be attracted to me? The lady at the supermarket always gives you the eye. Who? The girl in produce, Harry. She wants you. But I got you. Oh, Harry, never leave. I know I ain't a natural beauty. You're an unnatural beauty. If I could only believe that. Oh, toots, it's you and me, like any of the world's great pairs, Anthony and Cleopatra, Romeo and Juliet, Francine and Seymour, oh. the couple that runs a candy store. Geez, they've been married for a thousand years. Oh, but I know you got wandering feet. It's you, Thelm. Nobody else means anything. Who, nobody else? Nobody, nobody else. Now you're going to make the big break, huh? Oh. Now you... You feel that? What? Like the, like the floor shook. 
Oh, it didn't. I, I, I could have swore the room vibrated. Well, probably blasting. Could be excavating. Who knows? Maybe they're building a subway. Out here? Well, it's California, you know. They do everything different. K- kiss me before you leave. It's the afternoon. Oh, don't go. What do you want me to do, Thelm? Post a security deposit? Well, tell them I'm too sick. I'm relaxed. No way. You want to put the evil eye on us? I give my word to Greg, and I will stand by it. My heart is in this room, but my body will be on the road. Oh, Harry, you're so macho. Around the corner. They just left. Oh, it's like years. It's only for a few days. Oh, a few days. They won't stay the whole time. Oh, oh good. I told Harry to call me when he arrives. Oh, stop it. He's a big boy. But still a boy. Oh, oh Thelma, Greg will take care of oh, him. Oh, you're Greggy, a doll. I, I feel better already. I know. Let's go shopping. And leave the house? Oh, what if the police call or the hospital? How can I enjoy myself knowing he's out there unsupervised? Thelma, Thelma, I have a sensational dress shop. Designer's clothes. Oh, half off. Well, maybe it would be good therapy for me. I'll get ready. That's the spirit. Now you can surprise Harry with a new wardrobe. Oh, Harry. Oh, my Harry. Thelma. Oh, we ain't been separated since his cousin's gallbladder operation. I'm in shock. Thelma, be strong. Oh, I wish I was like you. Courageous. Slim. But I'm not. If anything happens to him, I'll kill him. Nothing's going to happen. Are you sure? Positive? Yes. Oh, I know it. I know it. Oh, don't answer it. It's probably a no. No, no, no. It's the hospital. Oh, Harry. <gasps> Hello? Where are you? Oh, it figures. Yeah, she's right here. Is he dead? No. They've stopped for some delicatessen. He wants to talk to you. You're eating? Sure. It's a habit. And I thought you was in a car wreck. What's with you? I'm fine. Oh, you're going to worry me to death. Unless you poison me first. Oh, nice. I called to tell you... Oh, never mind. Tell me what? I miss you and I love you. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. Of course. Listen, Toots, I'm okay. And um, I think I can talk Greg out of this. We'll be back tomorrow. Oh, music to my ears. Of course. Speak to you later, so goodbye. Oh, love you. Oh, what a husband. What a man. Oh, the floor's shaking again. Just another trimmer. Golly, this is a big one. Oh, you should complain about the blasting. Blasting? It's an earthquake. A what? Uh, earthquake. Oh! oh! I'm going to be crushed! Harry! Oh, it only lasts a moment. Oh, I'll never see my kids again! Drive, man, drive! we got to save him! Easy. It was a small one. It's all over. Don't say that. The quake was mild. Mild? My sandwich jumped right off the plate. I'm sure it was only three on the Richter scale. Don't talk about weight now. Now we're here. There you see. No damage. Thelma! Thelma! You came back. You saved me. Why must you go? Why? 
Earthquakes, that's why. You ready, Don? Harry, stay. No way. We're heading for the airport. Oh, my nerves are shattered. But you just got here. Gotta go. Blame Mother Nature. Oh, we love you, but... Oh, Lowy, move back east. What's six feet of snow compared to this? Come on, enough chit-chat. I got reservations on the six o'clock. Send the trunk COD. I'll call you. But this is silly. Please stay. And be crushed like an ant. Oh, come on, Harry, before the big one. You're overestimating the whole thing. Sure, sure. Well, old buddy, courage, huh? We'll always take your kids if any... I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Goodbye and good luck. Oh, Lowy, take care. Come on! gone? We're alone. You sure? Except for their trunk. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, earthquakes. California's answer to house guests. I'll never get to see Rancho San Leon. Ah, oh, pity. Oh, no. Don't answer it. You think they changed their minds? Don't say it. Suppose it's one of the kids. You better get it. Hello? Oh, hi. No, no, I'm all right. What? When? How nice. Sure, we'll pick you up at the airport. Bye. Huh. What now? My mother's arriving tomorrow. Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. Guess Who's Coming to California was written by Ken Gerard, produced and directed by Elliot Lewis. Your host was Andy Griffin. Our stars were Carol Cook and Shepard Minkin. Also heard were Cliff Norton and Gene Gillespie. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliott Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI.